everybody to welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here welcome to my channel um, I talk about all things luxury handbags luxury jewelry pieces and um, it's been a minute since I filmed a video I'm not gonna ramble too much about why I haven't filmed a video in a long time so let's just jump right into it so my last video that I filmed was pretty much by my brand but this time I think I'm just gonna film from my oldest to my newest bag I think that might be a little bit more fun just to switch things up a little bit this time so anyways um, let's jump right into it my first bag I'm going to be talking about is this Louis Vuitton Everfull in size MM is this was my first luxury handbag purchase the next bag I got after that I have sold okay I have sold it and then my last video it was my um, YSL wallet on chain I had a lot of uh, words about that bag being the fact that I wasn't getting a lot of use out of it and I was just really conflicted so that's not in my collection anymore I replaced it with another bag that you're gonna eventually see soon um, but anyways, this is my Alma BB um, in um, monogram. I was so obsessed with this bag when I got it. This is um, a good bag. It's going to be in my collection. Not going anywhere anytime soon. But you know what? Like I said, never say never. My next bag is this Gucci Dionysus in size small. Um... I love this bag so much. I know that this is not a trendy bag at the moment. This is not a popular bag. And yes, there was a trend back in the 2016, 2015. However, it's not really doing much. There's no buzz about it right now or buzz around it. But honestly, I love this bag so much. It's such a nice sturdy bag. The one thing that I would say is like, um, it's just the fact that it's heavy. It can get really weighty. Right now it's empty and it feels like it's full. Okay, compared to my app, my other bag. The strap is heavy. It's literally empty right now. Um, but it's a good bag. I have a review on it. It fits a good amount. It's a medium-sized bag. But whenever you do fill it up, it does get heavy. Um, I like it. This is my only red bag in my collection so far. I'm not looking to add any other red bags with the exception of some that I will definitely talk a little bit about later on. But let's just focus on this one. It's a cute bag. Is it going to leave my collection? I highly doubt it because, I mean, it does what it needs to do and fills that space for the red bag right now. So I like it. My next bag is this YSL Lulu Puffer in color Saffron. I have a video on this bag as well reviewing it on my channel it's a very good bag one thing i must say about ysl is that the quality of their leather and the sturdiness is amazing i do have some wear and tear but for the size of the bag because this is in the size small but it's a pretty big bag i love the bag a lot and i definitely still wear it in the winter so i feel like i want to add some sunshine to my outfit I do tend to pair this with like an all black outfit in the winter. This was actually purchased before the Lulu Puffer. So um, anyways, this is my Chanel classic flap in <clears throat> classic double flap in size medium, which is the classic size. I have nothing bad to say about this bag. To be honest, yes, I love, I love the classic flap. When I got it, it was like a dream come true for me. I love it so much. I have enjoyed wearing it. I'm still enjoying using it. Recently, I took it to the Chanel boutique because the, um, what's it called? The threading at the back was unraveling and it was um, slowly coming up to the um, warranty expiration. So I wanted to quickly fix it. I took it there. It didn't have any issues because it was still under warranty. I, knew, I, I was kind of nervous because I've heard so many bad stories about bad experiences at um, Chanel and like it just being a disaster so I was scared however it was very easy easy breezy didn't have any issues it was actually ready in about a month so got this and fixed and looks good to me now 
I love it so much. This is in the caviar leather. Very, very hard wearing. Yummy bag. Okay, I have nothing bad to say about this bag. However, Chanel really is taking the piss right now with their prices. So, I mean, this is definitely going to be the only black classic um, double flap I have in my collection. I would never be adding any other one to my collection because your girl cannot afford that anymore. <laughs> the next bag is my, my Louis Vuitton on the go tote in size MM. This is a limited edition piece. This was from the Wild at Heart collection. This was actually um, a push gift for my hubby when I had my baby. So I had got this. So um, this was I got this three years ago. Wow, I can't believe it's been three years. Got this back three years ago, and honestly, for the first year of the life of this bag, it was a diaper bag for me. And I mean. You can't really go wrong with an on-the-go tote. It's a really yummy bag. I feel like, honestly, tote bags are not really my style. <laughs> my husband loves tote bags. So sometimes when he's gifting me bags, he gives me bags that he likes, which I really do love. The fact that he's actually investing, you know, the time to like, you know, pick out, out bags that he likes and he thinks will look good on me. So when he got this for me, I mean, I loved it honestly just because it was more of a limited edition piece it has it comes in the emprunt leather um, and it's pretty much 100% leather and it's suede on the interior every time I would go into the Louis Vuitton store they definitely always compliment the bag because they're like oh my gosh I love that like what did you how did you get it because actually my husband couldn't even get it from the store when it came out because it came out in 2021 but he couldn't get it from the store because they were all out of stock. So he actually had to get um, it from a personal shopper. So he did a good job with this one. Love it. My next bag is this YSL Lulu bag in size medium. Guys, I'm pretty sure that by the next time I'm filming my handbag collection, this is not going to be my collection. Just because I haven't gotten good use out of this bag. It is a very big bag. Bigger than I expected it to be. Even though I went into the store. Tried on the bag. I tried it on in different colors. And I like the different colors. And I feel like when I purchased the bag. I was still at that place where. I'm like you know what. I want to get my money's worth. So I'm going to get a bigger bag. for So it's like worth the money. But I have learned the hardware now especially from at least two YSL bags that the fact that it's bigger doesn't, doesn't mean that it's going to work for you every time I have worn this bag I've had to actually literally force myself to wear it um, consciously just so that I'm actually just getting use out of the bag and that should never be the case you should have bags that you love you enjoy using you know not just because just to have just because so anyways this one will be leaving my collection soon um, and I did have a sac de jour in my previous video on uh, my previous um, handbag collection but I ended up selling the bag last year I sold the YSL um, wallet and chain and my sac de jour and honestly no regrets I'm glad that I sold them the sac de jour was a little bit too formal for me probably if I got it in the supple version it would have worked better but yeah this is also gonna go oh and this is in the color gray khaki I actually filmed an unboxing on this in my um, on my channel so it's a good one my next bag is this lady Dior this is my ABC Dior in uh, size, well, size small it's a cute bag. It's a yummy bag. I love the Lady Dior's. They're so ladylike. They're so dressy. However, if you've watched a few of my videos, you know that I am not the girl who will just, you know, um, not dress up my bags or dress down my bags. I carry my bags based off of how I'm feeling. If I want to go to the store and I feel like taking a Lady Dior with me, I do take a Lady Dior with me. Or I feel like taking a Chanel Classic Flap, I do. So it just depends on my mood and, you know, if it goes with whatever I'm wearing. So this bag is a yummy bag. I got it for, well, my husband got it for me for a month. It was a gift for Mother's Day. 
and um, this was my first this was my first official um, Lady Dior and I fell in love love the bag my next bag is the Louis Vuitton Cousin PM so this is the Cousin in size PM um, it has its um, straps where are the straps Okay, it comes with this chunky silver strap here. This is what she looks like. So, I know some people wear um, this as a neck necklace or wear this as a, um, a chain across the neck. That's never going to be me because that's not my style. But, I mean, some people are able to pull it off. So, this bag is a very... This is an acquired taste. If you like it, you like it. This is in the color anthracite. Do I love the bag? In my last handbag collection, this was actually not last year, two years ago now, because my last handbag collection video was in 2022. And um, honestly, I feel like it just depends on your style. This bag is a very, it's a very versatile bag, um, but for me, it's I've been carrying it just strictly as a casual bag. I did mention in my unboxing that you can dress it up, dress it down. I haven't dressed it up yet. I look forward to dressing it up more because, yes, you can carry it as a clutch like so um, or use the silver strap or use the chunky um, canvas strap as a crossbody strap. I'm not really a fan of these chunky straps that all these uh, luxury houses are doing these days. But anyways, I mean, it works, okay? As a very casual bag, it works. And it does the job. It really gets the job done. So, it's a, it's a good bag. Is it my favorite bag? No. But is it a good bag? Yes. The leather is also very, very... Um, it's, it's in lambskin, but it's very soft and still durable. But anyways, the interior is also um, leather as well. It's also the same... Yeah, it's the same color. So it's like a charcoal -y, grayish, blackish, silvery gray. I don't know. Anyways, on the website, it's called Anthracite. And every time I've gone into, I've actually never seen anybody with this specific one. I'm the only one that I know that owns this one. I wish I got it in a different color, but I'm glad that I actually, you know, have it in this color just because it's just different. It's just different. Most people I've seen it have the camel or the taupe or, you know, or um, cream or like white. But it's cool. My next bag is this Gucci Diana in size mini. Um, it's a good bag. All my Gucci bags have been, with the exception of my Dionysus, have been impulse buys. This one was an impulse buy. I needed a green bag to just, you know, fill my fill the space in my collection. And honestly, no regrets. Have I used it a lot? Yes. Yes. Does it fit a lot? It fits enough. Honestly, it's a very practical bag. It comes with a thin strap, which I prefer. It also comes with the chunky canvas strap that all these luxury houses are doing now. <laughs> so that's another strap that it comes in i also have a review on this bag it's a good bag i know that the gucci doesn't have a really great resale value so i don't even have any plans to resell any of my gucci bags i own only three gucci bags and that's that about that my next bag is my speedy 30 my speedy bandolier size in size 30 in damir bean i wish i got this bag in a smaller size I really do. If I could honestly go ahead and sell this and get a smaller one, I probably would want to do that because this having this size 30 and having the Louis Vuitton um, um, Neverfull in size MM is kind of like having the same bag and I really don't want to do that. I'm really trying to refine my collection now. I have sold some bags um, and I have plans to sell some more bags. The ones that I'm sure I'm selling, I'm going to like let you guys know which ones I'm, I'm going to be selling for sure. It has the strap. You can wear her as a crossbody or as a shoulder strap. This is a very good travel bag. Very, very good. Very practical. I have no regrets about the bag. You know, just with the size. I wish it's smaller. <sighs> but you know what? I know big bags are coming back and are in now. But 
right now I'm just not really gravitating towards her am I going to sell her probably not I don't know yet I don't have any plans right now this is not on the shopping block but I do wish it was a little bit smaller but still no regrets my next bag is my Fendi peekaboo in the size this is a size small this is a size small yeah I believe so the mini this is a size small or size mini oh gosh um, I don't even remember this was definitely an impulse buy okay <laughs> I got this on myself my birthday last year and um, I was like you know what happy birthday to me the essay really did upsell me which is fine I mean I don't really have a lot of Fendi pieces this is actually my only Fendi item in my collection I just felt like the bag was still understated but at the same time you know you can still like identify <laughs> recognize what's going on on the inside the bag is a good bag honestly apart from the fact that it's definitely was definitely an impulse point purchase number one this is a nod to the Kelly the Hermes Kelly but it fits a whole lot a whole lot a whole lot guys I can't even lie it comes with this chunky crossbody strap which I don't really love really but it's practical right so anyways yeah this is my Fendi peekaboo my next bag is the Lady Dior in size mini this is the mini Lady Dior in color Lotus um, I have uh, a video on the bag so talking more about it I've had this for um, two years now this is actually my first bag that I purchased um, on the pre-love market and I was like oh, okay yeah that's not a bad idea at all and being that I already had a Dior bag to kind of compare that was a good um, because I'm, I'm always scared of purchasing like a bag like from a resale market or like a pre-love site because I'm like I don't want to get scammed or buy a fake item. Ooh, that's like my biggest fear. But yeah, it's a yummy bag. I'm so glad I didn't pay <laughs> full price for the bag and it was an, in excellent condition. So yeah, still looks as good as new. In my last handbag collection... I did say um, I had my eyes on another bag. This was the bag because of how much I love, 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 love my classic flap in uh, black. I ended up getting the size small again. I wanted it in gold hardware, but they didn't have it in store at the time. Honestly, I feel like they were just trying to finesse me. But anyways, I got it in silver and I actually like it because it's more casual. Um, so this is the classic double flap in size small so this was actually purchased before my um, beige clear classic flap this is the pearl crush mini square and um, this is where I'm really beefing Chanel okay they're a lambskin this is the only lambskin Chanel well that's not that's a lie I take it back this is the only lambskin Chanel bag I have worn a lot let me put it that way because I'm about to show you another Chanel bag but this bag so soft okay it is so soft I love the feel however the fact that I, it feels soft and nice and luxurious doesn't mean that I shouldn't be able to wear it anyways I noticed some days ago that there is like some I don't even know what to call it it's like it's like kind of scratch like some scratches I tried to wipe it off because I thought it was like stained not sure if the camera is picking it but it's just like a little bit on the back and that just really bothered me because I'm like I try to baby this bag I really do look at the interior of the bag it's so clean okay I try not to mess with my bags I really do take care of my items because <laughs> you never know if you want to sell it tomorrow okay you need to make sure that it looks good and at least even not, even if you don't want to sell it I'm hoping that you know in the future I'm able to you know pass them down or Whatever I want to do with it, I mean, their investments, believe it or not, I can be, I am kind of frugal, so I like to take care of the stuff that I own. Anyways, the bag, I love this bag, but I just was not happy with what I saw with the back of the bag. And it's probably because I primarily wear it as a crossbody bag. And secondly, I noticed that the, the straps had like some black 
I don't discoloration on the leather. I wiped them out and it went out. I don't know what that was about. But I've seen some videos of people saying that um, it's just like normal wear and tear of the the strap or whatever. And it kind of was staining the bag itself. I wiped it out with um, baby wipes and it went off, thankfully. So I'm just going to keep watching it if it happens again. Thankfully, I mean, they this has the five-year warranty. So I think I have a good time, a good amount of time to get the bag fixed if it needs to be fixed. At least I have... I think I have two more years now so <sighs> Chanel is just stressful and with the prices it's like you know what I know that I can't like get another one and one bag that I'm scared to buy on the resale market is Chanel for and you know what everybody has you know their reasons and you know their their preferences for me I just feel like Hermes and Chanel have been so, so no actually you know what right, let's leave Hermes alone Louis Vuitton and Hermes and Chanel have been very, very um, saturated and there's a lot of like dupes and like super dupes on the resale market. So it's like, you know what, if I'm not buying the Chanel bag from the store, I'd rather just not have it. So I know I'm not buying any other one from the store because the prices are just ridiculous now. Just ridiculous. We'll see. Like I said, never say never. But for now, I'm good on Chanel though. Because their quality, if you, we all know. I haven't had any issues. These are like my first issues. Like this with this bag. Or this is my first issue. And I think honestly this probably is just like wear and tear. Because I've had this for a few years now. And I've worn it a lot. Because it's such a neutral color. And I've taken it on every vacation I have gone on in the last two years. I have taken it with me. So, I mean, it's held up nicely. I don't have any corner wear on it. I tried to try to care for it nicely. The bottom still looks nice. This is in the dark beige. I love this color so much. My next um, Chanel bag, which I have never, I've, there's no video on this on my channel. Um, I'm definitely going to be talking more about this bag <laughs> because this bag has given me serious heart, heart palpitations. Do I know why I picked this color? No. Okay. <laughs> Would I pick another white Chanel bag? No, never. Okay. The first day I took this beautiful bag out, I got a watermark. I don't even know where it oh I, I see it. There's like a little mark here. I'm anal like that. Yes, I can see it. Like a little, little, little mark right there. Okay. I'm like, uh-uh, what is that? So ever since then I've been so scared to like take it out. This is the <laughs> I hadn't even introduced the bag. Guys, this is my Chanel 19 <laughs> in size small. But it's such a practical bag. I wish I got it in a... That's not true. I don't wish I got it in a darker color. Because I wanted a white Chanel bag. And I'm glad I do own it. It's just that I've just been scared to wear her. I've been scared to just really wear her. So, uh, thankfully, she has a black interior. So I was itching, 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 itching for a pink Chanel bag. First of all, I was thinking of getting a pink um, Chanel 19. But when I saw this bag, this is kind of like the, this is the cocoa handle in size um, mini. Is this a mini cocoa handle? Size small. Chanel and these sizes. I know that this is probably like the new small. Probably the new small, because I know the smaller one was, is oh, this is the new mini. I don't even know. I've lost track with their changes. My essay sent it to me, and I was like, yes, please sign me up. This is called the color lilac, but for uh, based off of what I've seen online, this looks a lot like the mauve Sylvester from Hermes. It's such a beautiful, beautiful shade of, I feel like this, Lighting is kind of like making it a little bit more lilac, but yes, it does have a lilac undertone, but it does look more like a bubble gummy pink, bubble gum pink. But anyways, it's a yummy bag. This was the one that came with the, oh, I did an unboxing on it, so I definitely have more details on the unboxing on my channel. I'll try to link that below. My next bag is the YSL <laughs> Wallet and Chain and Color Pink. I don't know what this color is called on the website because I purchased this from Fashion File. 
Um, so I actually sold my black um, wallet and chain to a local consignment store um, where I live and purchased this from Fashion File. Cut the long story short, guys. I thought that this bag wasn't working for me because of the color because I had it in black before. And I purchased this. But anyways, cut the long story short, I'm selling this bag back to Fashion File. I actually have already gotten a quote and it's going to be going back to them just because I really haven't gotten any use out of it. It's just really not my style anymore. Um, fun fact, the black wallet on chain was my second luxury um, handbag ever. This is years ago and I really did like it then but now my taste has changed and it's not really feeling any part in my collection so she's gonna be going I'm not gonna speak too much about her my next bag is my gorgeous gorgeous capucines in color rose jasmine um, this is my Paris bag I severely whenever we traveled to Paris last year I wanted a purple bag from Paris preferably I was dreaming of a purple capucines I was like you know what my in my dreams right getting a Birkin if I could get a Birkin I would love a purple Birkin that would have been like the bag of my dreams yes I would love that anyways that didn't happen and <laughs> me getting because I was like you know what the my experience at the Louis Vuitton store was amazing it was beautiful they were amazing they were sweet however they just couldn't find a purple bag for me that was not an exotic I actually didn't get it on the first go I was like you know I'm gonna go home think about it went back to the hotel the guy got my contact um, <laughs> fun fact he went like looked me up on their system so that I had a profile and he was like you know what the bag is waiting for you and I just thought Whenever I saw this strap, I was just like, this is just so fun. This is just so fun. It's just so beautiful. And I was just like, you know what? I cannot leave without getting the bag. So it comes with this beautiful chain strap, chunky chain strap, and the um, thick crossbody strap as well. So this is a, ch a shoulder strap, a shoulder bag, which is typically how I tend to carry it more and a top handle bag then the one you use as the crossbody bag in the spirit of purple bags this is my <laughs> my lady dior in size medium i ended up getting this from fashion file and guys i honestly haven't gotten you know well she's gonna be going back okay to fashion file i love the color I love the color. I love the color. I love the feel. There's no hate towards this bag. It just feels like a lot of things happen after getting this bag that just made me feel like, you know what? I need to let her go. I need to let her go. And just, you know, I got so excited pairing her with my Orans. These were the only purple things I was able to get from Paris. Um, but yes they do look good together but that's not the only reason why i would keep a bag i'm staring at it right now and i feel like i should keep it but i just don't feel like it's practical for my collection right now i just don't want to have bags just because so she's going to be going back to fashion bow with along with the ysl wallet and chain my next bag is the this is the gucci jackie i have a lot to say about this bag but i'm going to keep it short and sweet I went back and forth with Gucci on this bag. If you guys have ever had any issues with the if you own the Gucci Jackie and you had one that smelled weird, please comment in the section down in the comment section down below. Please comment because I exchanged two bags. It's a cute bag. This was another um <laughs> impulse buy. I I don't feel like it's the most practical bag because every time I've carried it out and I fill it up it like if it tips over everything so yeah anyways i mean it's a cute one to have it's such an understated bag um great as a shoulder bag it's very very classy very cute but um 
nothing bad to say about the bag. I just feel like Gucci is just Gucci. If you like Gucci, you like Gucci. For me, I'm not a lover of Gucci, but she's cute. They do have some cute items. The Gucci um, GG print it would never be my style. No. <laughs> but this is just so understated. If you don't know it's a Gucci bag, you probably wouldn't even know. But of course, if you know... Um... Anyways, this is this about this bag. My final Chanel bag is this beautiful, beautiful Chanel Deauville and size size small I think this is a size small okay I saw this bag I really wanted to add a Zoville to my collection um, because I just felt like I was really trying to build and curate my collection really and um, I just felt like having a Chanel Deauville would pretty much be a good um, full stop <laughs> to my collection and I went ahead and got this beautiful beautiful um, limited edition one limited edition piece I was a little bit skeptical about getting her because um, they talked about the beads and probably not being able to be able to replace the beads because there's some like wooden beads from some African country but anyways this is not an everyday bag well it, it could be an everyday bag for me I trust myself I know but this would be a bag that I would wear not just for like you know months on end so I just feel like this is just a great travel bag, great vacation bag. And um, this is what she looks like on the end. Well, I have a pink bag insert that I got from Amazon. You guys don't sleep on Amazon inserts. Trust me. They do the job, okay? They don't damage the bag or nothing. They do the job. So it comes with this um, pouch, just like the Doville's. I almost forgot my D-Joy. I got this two years ago. This is... This was my bag for 2023. This was my 2023 bag. This bag did the job, okay? Did an amazing job. This job, this bag is amazing. I can't really say, I can't say anything bad about this bag. She went with me everywhere in year 2023. Very, very practical. This is the D-Joy in size medium, guys. When it came out, I was just like, Ugh, what kind of bag is that? Why did they just cut the DJ, the, the Lady Dior into two? And whenever this um, ornamental motif came out in December 2022, I was like, oh, this is so cute. This is so pretty. Oh, I love it. And um, this was my Christmas gift in 2022. Um, so this is why it didn't get featured in my handbag collection. But best believe from December 2022, up until today this was literally the bag i just changed out of amazing great bag my next bag is my mini lady dior in python this is my only exotic piece in my collection and uh, such a beautiful it's it's just a pretty bag like and the beauty about exotic bags is that they tend to go with everything like you can wear this with everything and anything. It's just so cute. I mean, yes, do I feel like I have like heart palpitations every time I wear her? Like, my essay was like, don't worry. I mean, it's not just going to be lifting because it's not like you're carrying it like as an everyday bag. This is the one bag I'm not going to like take to the grocery store. <laughs> just because you have to be, you know, very careful with your exotic pieces. So I love her. Not much to say about her. She's doing what she needs to do. My final Lady Dior bag is in this um, calf skin from the, this is a, one of the limited edition Lady Dior's from the Plan de Paris collection that came out last year. This is actually my bag of the day. This is what I'm wearing now. Like I said, I do carry my bags, okay? If I'm gonna wear my dress my lady dior up or down it doesn't really matter and honestly with this print it's very um you know dress downable <laughs> so the bag is filled to the max filled to the brim okay yeah super heavy right now too this is the small my abc dior i have the ones with the with the little charms in there my hubby subs, um, surprised me with this. 
um and that was really cute he tends to like you know limited edition pieces and would i have picked this myself probably i might have been like thinking about it or like trying to like rationalize getting this for myself but i'm so glad that he got this for me because i just feel like it's just such a funky bag it's definitely going to be a conversation starter anybody who owns a dior bag would definitely and if they see this they're probably going to stare at it like what is that and like i mentioned i did an unboxing of this bag this pretty much just um is the map of paris painted on the bag it's just so cute okay Ugh, yummy i love it so much and my husband calls it the newspaper bag he's like it looks like a newspaper but it's a cute newspaper <laughs> this is actually my birthday bag um this was um my birthday gift for 2024 um i am a capricorn i'm a january baby so this was uh gifted to me for my birthday this year and this is the on the go in size pm in a reverse monogram it's a cute cute bag i definitely have been wearing her a lot uh, one thing i am trying to do different now with my bags is making sure that i have inserts in most of my bags this was not the insert that well this is not the insert that i got for this bag this was actually the insert for my um medium um, lady dior but because i'm selling that one i decided to just take the <clears throat> The bag insert out of that that i got and just and this actually fit perfectly in here so i'm going to just go ahead and just use this going forward as my bag insert for this one because i already started like i've used this bag for only on that route just in case i do want to go ahead and sell this bag i want to make sure that it's in as excellent condition as possible being that it's canvas it's going to be perfect on the outside but inside needs to make sure it's good and my never full hmm, i beg to differ you don't even want to see what it looks like so anyways i already have that one spot on the inside there that i'm gonna have to like clean but aside to that everything is still perfect so yeah so we're slowly coming to an end i have this cute jimmy choo bum bum bag in the micro size it's just so cute i just think when i saw it i was just like oh it's such a cute dressy bag like you know because for me i'm not really a clutch girl so i'm just like i still like a little top handle it comes with the straps still and it does fit a lot i mean well, not a lot i'm not gonna lie <laughs> it fits something and it has such a substantial strap and it's such a great prize like with all these you know fashion houses if you wanted to get something dressy from chanel like a an evening purse or evening bag from chanel you would be spending at least a good like four thousand three thousand dollars even more if it's like you know gold or whatever but anyways it has a really substantial chain so it's a good one so yeah we're pretty much Coming to an end, coming to the end, coming to the end of this video. My next bag is this Ferragamo bucket bag. I actually purchased this um, summer of last year. That was before the Bon Bon bag. And um, this is just a very casual mommy crossbody bag. I'm going to the park with my kid. I carry this, very understated. It has a long strap that you just literally crossbody. You know, it's, it's a good price. It's very durable. It's in like in pebbled leather. It's the mini Gancini bag, I think that's what it's called. I think oh, I just carry it with me everywhere I'm traveling. But the next bag I'm going to be showing you kind of took that place a little bit. But of course, I need to bring this one back out for my next few trips. Say hello to my little friend this is the mini constance or the constance 18 in noir in epsom leather and rose gold hardware guys when i was gonna film my entire luxury handbag collection i um got this bag this was in i got this in to, in november okay was it november i think was it november i got this in in 
October, last week in October. So it was like, okay, okay. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got this in, you know, October. I was excited. I had, you know, been purchased. I've been on my Hermes journey and I try, will try to not to keep this part too long. <laughs> I have used it a lot, okay? If you even look at the hardware, you see it has a lot of scratches already, okay? I'm not one to just keep the stickers on. I am aware that it's gonna scratch. There's no avoiding scratching it. And I just didn't want it to oxidize a certain type of way and would like mess up my bag or anything like that. And I heard that the rose gold hardware does tend to oxidize more. So I was like, you know what? Oh my gosh, guys, I love this bag so much. It was a pleasant surprise, okay? Anyways, this is what she looks like on the inside. I don't have any inserts for her yet. This is the mirror, Constance 18. So it comes with a little mirror on the inside as well. I don't know what we're using this for. I have never used it a day in my life. Well, probably because it still has the plastic on it. That's why I can't really see my face. But I've not used this for nothing. I'm just going to keep it like... Anyways, this bag is a workhorse. She fits a whole lot. This is the bag that whenever I got her, I just pushed my <laughs> my Gancini, Ferragamo Gancini bag to the side. I'm like, wait, <laughs> let this beautiful bag do the talking. She is such a practical bag. Like, oh my God. Anyways, before I could even like exhale, I got offered another bag from Hermes which I would have never thought. In fact, my husband at the time, my husband was like, I don't think you need to be hoping for nothing because nothing is happening anymore. So don't worry about it. And guys, after this beautiful bag, I get offered this beauty, guys. This beautiful bag. I feel like I want to just like shed some tears. <laughs> I get offered this beautiful Birkin 30 in Togo leather in color baton. Baton is kind of like uh, my essay said baton means concrete in French. It just looks like this very, very light, very, very, very light gray. I like being washed out. I'm definitely going to be because I feel like I was just going through my Hermes journey without saying nothing. I really didn't know it was going to go by so fast. After filming my um, handbag video, um, handbag collection video, I was hoping to actually start filming videos on my Hermes journey and, you know, how it was going and how, what I, what, you know, what I had purchased and all that. But I got this before I could even say Jack Robinson, guys. She is a gorgeous, gorgeous moment, okay? Like, she lives up to, I understand the hype. The quality of this bag is amazing. I still have the stickers on the stangles, but I took off the stickers on this portion of the bag. Well, actually, just the, the turn lock right here. But this still has the stickers. And my essay did advise me to just keep the stickers at the bottom as well, just to protect the the hardware at the bottom for now. And it will just like naturally like peel up by itself. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's such perfect neutral. Like it would fit everything in my collection, like everything, everything in my closet. And he was like, this is a good one. I'm like, I'm so scared. And he's like, not to worry. You'll be fine. We traveled to Dubai. I traveled with my toddler and not one stain not one scuff honestly yes it can be a lot just carrying it as a top handle bag if really when you have a kid but I had no issues with this bag whatsoever I love her I would definitely be filming more um, details on my Hermes journey for sure because I ended up getting two quota bags in two months okay Things that I thought were impossible. I honestly wasn't expecting that I would get it that 
quick and um you guys should just be you know stay tuned if you've watched it up until this point um please go ahead and please 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 consider subscribing to my channel um and also just to be on the lookout for my hermes journey um to hear a little bit more about how i was able to score two quota bags in two months and just for you guys uh, information i definitely purchased them from my local boutique these were not paris buys or anything like that tried in paris to get an appointment i didn't get an appointment and um i got this from my local boutique so i got both from my local boutique for my same essay and yeah um anyways this pretty much sums up my luxury handbag collection um if you guys have watched up until this point please consider subscribing to my channel like comment and just let me know what your favorite bag is from my collection let me know what you guys think let me know what bags you guys don't like let me know what bags you like let me know what bags you think i shouldn't sell or i should sell <laughs> whatever <laughs> i appreciate you watching my video up until this point and um see you in my next video bye